In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord has risen. The Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Psalm 5 You who hear me. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Listen to the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for to you will I pray. O Lord, in the morning you will hear my voice. In the morning I will direct my prayer to you, and I will watch expectantly. In the abundance of your mercy, I will enter your house. In awe of you, I will worship at your holy temple. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 27 to 28. Jesus said to them, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The Shepherd and the Sheep Such a beautiful image we see over and over again in scripture. Sheep, they follow. They're followers. And sheep also have a reputation for being, you know, a little dumb. (laughs) Of course, they're not rational beings with the ability to make decisions based on facts, past experiences, the advice of others, you know, like we do. Yet, they know the voice of their shepherd. They respond to the good shepherd, who is gentle, firm, and keeps the sheep calm. It's true that sheep hear the shepherd's voice, and they follow. It's familiar. They are known by their shepherd, and they follow. Intimacy. To be known. This is the point of our reflection for today. Jesus, the Good Shepherd, knows us. He knows us so intimately, more than we know ourselves even. Our Shepherd is there to guide us, seek us out when we're lost. We know the words of that classic hymn, Like a shepherd, he leads the flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully, close to his heart, leading them home. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I know mine and mine know me. I will lay down my life for my sheep. The Lamb of God is the good shepherd, ready to sacrifice all for the flock, ready to seek out and find any who are lost, holding all the sheep so close to his heart, that eternal life that's promised. For as long as we stay close to the Good Shepherd, we shall not perish. So, sheep, do you know his voice? Can you hear the gentle, loving voice of the Good Shepherd guiding you in your life, leading you close to his heart? Take some time in prayer today to listen to the Shepherd's voice and follow. Like a shepherd he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. Say cities of Judah, prepare the way of the Lord, go to the mountaintop.
Let us now gather our prayer as our shepherd taught us and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, this Easter time, remind me just how much I need you. Help me see your grace in my life. And grant me that divine combination of sorrow and tenderness that points people to the cross and to new life. And this we ask through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today, this Easter Tuesday. As you go into your day, may God's blessing and protection be with you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you tomorrow.